Hi. Um, okay, so today we're going to work on our cables and we're going to do some cable decreases. And so what I did was I went ahead and copied the um, antler toe pattern of just the decreases and I'm going to follow this. And for me, um, you've seen my little magnetic dealy that I can use. And I love using that, but if you don't have one of those, that's okay. Get yourself some of these uh, sticky notes and just put it under there. And again, what I like to do is I will use a colored pencil to color in the size that I'm using. And so I go ahead, like I have to have 72 stitches after that one's done. and. Um, so that one, that one. So if you're making the middle color picture, the middle size, you'll, you'll go ahead and color in the 90, the two, the two. And this just helps me when I'm going through my pattern, I don't have to get so confused. So I am going to do this entire thing. And for me, I think I'm going to do it Pearl two together. Okay, so, um, so for example, let's look at this. I look at the commas. The commas tell me what my next stitch is. So for this one, and again, if you want to use two sticky notes, just go ahead and put your one sticky note after the comma, and then you know that that's what you're working on. So let's look at this. When we come to this one, we're going to knit floor, and then I look for the comma, which tells me this entire thing is telling me what to do. So for the size that I'm making, I'm making the, the baby hat, it's a, I'm going to just purl one. If you're making the bigger sizes, you have to decide which one of these is, is in your size, depending on how many you've cast on. And then once I'm finished with this comma, and these commas in the parentheses go along with this entire string. And these, these are just telling you how many you do. So after I'm done with that major comma, then I'm going to go ahead and purl two together. And then I'm going to start all over and I'll move this back here. So let's go ahead and get started. And if you're following me on the uh, baby size, then we're going to be just fine. If you're doing different sizes, you'll have to do more rounds, more stitches, more everything. So go ahead and keep that in mind. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do with this is we're going to knit four. And I want to make sure that my yarn is coming up and back because when I knit, our yarn is, al our yarn is always in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and knit four. Oh, do I have my cable needle out somewhere? I need to find my cable needle. Let me go ahead and get these four knit, two, three four. Okay, I have to look for my cable needle, guys, and I don't see it, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to find my green one. I really like my um, clear, my yellow, my, you know, yellowish ones, but I'm going to use this one today. I have no idea where it is. I will find it later. Okay, so we've knit four. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do, go ahead and do a cable four in the back, which means we're working over four stitches. We're going to put two of them in the back. One, two. We're going to knit two from our regular needle. One, two. And then we're going to knit the two from our cable needle. which is one, and I think I split that. I'll fix it later, two. Okay, so we're gonna move this to our next comma and we're going to do a cable four front, which means we're working over four stitches again. We take half of those stitches. So, for example, if this said cable eight front, you would always take half of that 
and move it to the side that they're telling you to. But we're working on four stitches, so half of them come to the front, unless they tell you differently in the instructions. So we're going to knit the two off of the back, and then we're going to knit the two from our cable needle and I'm using my thumb to kind of pull that those stitches apart so that I don't split them okay I'm ready to move my sticky and we're going to knit four so let's go ahead and one, oops, one, two, three, four, okay. And remember, we're going to find not the parentheses um, commas, but the very end of the parentheses. So for me, I'm going to purl one. And remember, I'm purling through the back stitch. And then I am going to purl two together. Now, it is very hard to purl two together like this. So, if you have to, go ahead and take one stitch, move it, go through the back stitch, the other through the back stitch, and then move them back to your work, your, uh, work off needle, okay, and then purl them, put them through the front stitch, and purl them together, and then move your needle to the back. Now I'm, I'm probably not going to do that each time, but if you need to, please go ahead and do it. So we're going to start all over again, and every time you have one of your stitch markers, then you'll start your pattern over and that kind of helps you to know if you've made a mistake just in that that section if you if you're at that the next section and you haven't finished everything you knew you made a mistake so let's go ahead and knit four two three four i'm going to go ahead and move to the next comma i'm going to cable four in the back which means we're working on four stitches half of those stitches go to the back on my cable needle I knit two stitches off of my regular needle at my left. Then I go ahead and knit these stitches from my cable needle. And I'm going to do one, two, and then we're going to cable for front, which means again, four stitches, half of them go to the front. Two of them are going to get knit off of your regular needle. And then those two on your cable needle get knit off. Move it. We're going to knit four. Purl one, and then purl two together. Now I am going to go ahead and purl my two together from here. And if you can't do this, remember you can move these. There we go. Now what you've noticed is we are doing our decreases in our purls right now. We are not doing any in our cables. We're keeping our cables uh, the same. The cables are going to continue for a while. Okay, we're going to twist it, do it the other side, and we're going to do the same thing. So I'm not moving mine. You see that. If you can, if you can do that, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, use your, your sticky. So I'm going to knit four. One, two, three, 
four, we're going to do cable four back, which means half of those go to the back. We're going to knit. And remember to watch where your yarn is. You don't want your yarn going under your cable needle, needle to knit. You want to make sure that you're right in line with your needle. We're going to knit two. We're going to knit two from our cable needle. And you'll see me, I'm using both my tip of my needle and my thumb to separate those stitches because sometimes when you work cables, they get a little bit together. They get pushed together quite a bit. And then we're going to do cable four from the front, which is we're working over four stitches to come to the front. Two get knit from our back regular needle. And then the two from our cable needle. And again, please remember, you're, you're welcome to move your stitches away from the, the tip if you're afraid you're going to lose them. One. Okay, so we've done our two in the back, two in the front. And then we're going to knit four. So we want to do one, two, three, four, purl one, and then purl two together. Again, if you cannot get back here to get to your second stitch to purl through to grab both of those, go ahead and move them, but move them like this go to the back of your stitch, move it to your right hand. Go to the second stitch, go through the back, move it to your right needle, and then go straight across and move those back to your left needle. Now we can go ahead and purl through both of those. It's a little bit easier that way, and for newbies sometimes that's the best way to do it. So let's do it again, and this will be the end of row one. Knit four, and we're going to put two to the back on our cable needle. We're going to knit two, watch where your yarn is, and then we're going to knit two from our cable needle. And then we're going to do two from the front. So we're going to move two from the front and we will knit our two on the back on our regular needle. And then we'll knit our two from our cable needle. Okay, we'll knit our four Purl one and purl two together. Now, if you are going to try and purl the two from this needle, you have to go to the second stitch. And you can see there's my first stitch, there's my second stitch. I go through both of those stitches and then I purl through them and take them off. So there we go. Okay, so let's talk about. Um, you've already seen my cream colored cable needle. This is from Knit Picks, and about every, oh, maybe half, three quarters of an inch, there is a divot. There's a, a it's down into the, to the wood. It goes into the wood. Now, this is a very nice cable needle. The only reason I don't care for it is because of those spaces, my yarn gets caught on these edges. And then it's harder to get my yarn pushed. So you take your thread this way and it goes on here. But then when you're ready to knit, you have to move it to this end and it gets caught along each one of these little divots. 
so that you can knit. Now, that's not a big deal, especially if you're using a heavier thread, but you have to realize every time you pull your yarn, you're kind of flaking off a little bit of the fiber. And so I'm not crazy about these. These come from Knit Picks if you like them. They're, they're, they're very nice needles um, and they will match if you buy the set, you can get these to match. But again, I can't find my other one, so we're gonna use this one today. All right, so we're finished with row one. Let's go ahead and go to round two. And round two is pretty easy. It's just knit 16, purl for me, purl two, the whole way around. And that means So remember, that's the start of my round. I'm going to knit 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Bring my yarn to the front because I want to purl two. And I do one. And remember, we go from the back for our purl, at least on this row. And then I'm gonna move my stitch marker, move my yarn to the back and do it again. One, two, three, four, five. And again, if you have to, use your thumb and your needle to separate those. The cables kind of always get bunched up. I don't worry about it, just you'll get very dexterous with your thumb and your needle. And I don't know how many I've knit, so I'm gonna take a look. Oh, I'm perfect, I have two more. Bring my yarn to the front and I'm gonna purl those two. Okay, so when I purled this one with you the last time, if I look at this stitch, I'm looking at it from the back. So what I'm noticing is my first leg goes up and over. So that means I have to purl from the front instead of the back. And let's go ahead and flip this. And we want to make sure our yarn is in the back we're going to knit six, oops, 16. Bring your yarn to the front. And again, be aware of which le where your leg is going. If your front leg is going to the back, then you're going to go behind that to purl. And again, this one I'm going to check. Yep, see it's going, the first leg is going to the back and then the second leg that comes down here and goes over is in the front. So I want to purl from the back of the back stitch. Move your yarn to the back and do it again. Let's knit 16. Bring your yarn to the front and check which way your legs are going. 
and I have to knit this one from the back and I also have to knit the, or purl this one from the back. So there we finished two rows. We have row one and row two of our decreases. Now uh, you're welcome to go ahead and go on your own. Um, but we have to do decreases in our cables this time. And so at this point, I am not going to go further, but in our next lesson, I will show you how to do the cable decreases. So it looks like every other one we do cable decreases. Yeah. So let's go ahead and save row three and four for our next knitting lesson. We're at 20 minutes right now, and this will take us a while to learn this. So I'm glad you came. I will talk to you again next time, and we will learn how to do some cable decreases. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.